All right, what I'd like to do is show you guys um, how to follow a, a simple algorithm into following two-step equations. It's a very simple process that you can use um, when solving all two-step equations. Huh? Now? Yeah. Okay. Um, so what I'd like to go ahead and do is, first of all, we're just going to follow this problem. We're just going to follow this for two-step equations as we go ahead and um, solve our problem. So. First thing I like to do is it says circle the variable. And the reason why I circle the variable is because I want to remind myself and always keep track of that is the variable I'm going to solve for. And when I say solve for a variable, what I mean is I'm going to get that variable by itself. All right, it's going to be isolated. So first thing I need to do is I circle my variable. Next thing it says use the inverse operations for addition and subtraction. So what we learned in one step equations is using the inverse operation. If I have an equation that's added to a variable, I'm going to subtract. And if I have a number that's subtracted from my variable, I'm going to add. So the reason why we're going to use addition and subtraction first is we're actually going to do our reverse order of operations. When we simplify, you guys should always remember order of operations. right? You do your parentheses, exponents, um, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. When solving a problem, you're actually going to do the reverse operation. So I need to look at what's happening in addition and subtraction first. And I look at this problem and I say, all right, I have actually a 2 is actually being added to my a. And you're going to say, well, it looks like an a over 11 is added to the 2, which is correct. But if I rearrange these, if I put my variable in front, I would still be adding that 2. So I need to use the inverse operation, which is going to be a subtract a 2. And I'm going to subtract a 2 from both sides. So therefore, I know I'm going to use the subtraction property of equality. This is Miguel. Yes. Okay. So now for number two, if uh, now I'm sorry, if that's number two. Now for number three, it says use the inverse operation for multiplication and division. So this becomes now a negative five equals a over eleven. Now I need to say, what is my inverse operation of my properties? I see it. So if I'm going to look at this, what is the inverse operation? And I notice that I have my variable is divided by 11. So to do the opposite of that, I'm now going to multiply by 11 on both sides. And when I do that, these actually will cancel out. And I get a negative 55 equals A. And that is actually by using my multiplication. of equality. All right. So now I have negative 55 um, equals A. Then, guys, the last thing I need to do is I need to double check my answer. So I'm going to go negative 3 equals 2 plus a negative 55 over 11. And what I do is I take negative 55 divided by 11. That's going to give me a negative 5. Negative 3 equals 2 plus a negative 5. Negative 3 does ensure equal a negative 3. Check my answer. So that is a simple algorithm for you guys to use how to solve a two-step equation.